Hey science fans, this is Corbett here. So we're gonna be looking at the required practical for AQA triple biology, where we are preventing bacterial growth. Now we've already done a video on how we make bacterial cultures in the lab. So this one is gonna be how we kill those bacteria, bacterial cultures in the lab. So it might be looking at disinfectants, it might be looking at antibiotics, antiseptics. So we can look at the efficacy or how, how effective some of these are by doing this experiment. So everything needs to be done um, all your equipment needs to be sterilized. So if you are using um, inoculating loops, tweezers, etc., they need to be sterilized in the autoclave. So that's that special oven. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to scientifically show how we can calculate uh, populations of bacteria. Um, this one needs a complete risk assessment. So there is risk involved in that you are using E. coli samples. So you need to be wearing goggles. You need to be wearing gloves, probably. Um, and you need to have um, a step by step method to go through what you're going to do. So first, we need to decide whether you are testing antibiotics or antiseptics or you might be like just testing um, natural remedies. So different spices in their effect on bacterial growth or whether they have any effect on bacterial growth. So there's going to be quite a few uh, different ways you can do this experiment. Um, using the right equipment and technique is very important. So let's get cracking. You have to have pre-prepared -pre incubated um, E. coli Petri dishes for this. So we use the aseptic technique and there is E. coli on there. Um, this one hasn't been incubated for that long, so you won't see it clearly. But when, when it has been incubated longer, it will be sort of a sort of beigey colour. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be testing hand gel, soap, disinfectant, which I think that one is Dettol, mouthwash, and I'm going to have water as my control. So if you if you, if you um, are going to be testing, you should always have a control as well and have a uh, plane. But we're going to see if water has any um, bacteria killing effects. Let's get cracking. Absolutely loads of control variables in this one. So the um, important thing, so you're not cross-contaminating, is I've got my Bunsen burner on over here to kill any uh, any other bacteria getting into the samples. We don't want them contaminated. Now, what I'm using is filter paper that are circular discs. Now, they are all the same size, and they have been cut out very scientifically using a hole punch. But you can see they're all the same size. Notice how I am not touching them because... I don't want to contaminate it with any of the bacteria that I'm holding. I'm just trying to see whether this can actually zoom... I don't know where the camera part is. There. Oh, dropped it. Either way, that is my piece of filter paper there. Now, what I'm going to do, you can do several of these in one, but I prefer to do um, one in the centre of each and then it's easier. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to dip it into, I'm going to start with hand soap and I'm going to dip it in for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would, of course, use a timer. OK, so that is suitably coated. And then I'm going to pop that in the centre of my agar gel, which is covered in E. coli. Now, obviously, I need to cover that up as quickly as possible. I need to label that up as well. And soap. And again, I'm going to seal that. I'm going to move on and do my next one, but I've got a fresh pair of tweezers because I don't want to contaminate them. And I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this one with nothing. So this is going to be my control. Okay. Okay, so they're all done. They're all ready. They're going to go into incubation just so that I can see how the colonies develop. I'm going to check them every single day and then we're going to do the important maths. Now, I haven't chosen a specific theme, antibiotics or antiseptics, etc. I have just chosen different substances to see the effect that they have on the bacterial colonies that I've grown. Colonies, excuse me. Um, so they, the bacteria is still going to be dividing every uh, 20 minutes via binary fission. We're going to see the effect that these chemicals or nothing because we had a control has on those so when we come back we will do um we will do the calculations to see how much the population we have destroyed see if hand gel is actually any good <laughs> 